Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Kenny. And right before I get into the video, a special shout out and thank you to all the new subscribers that's checking out the content, liking the content, and asking all those wonderful questions. Hopefully, I'll answer your questions in a timely manner and also thoroughly that you'll understand to help you accomplish what you were trying to accomplish. And if you're new to the channel and you're into sublimation, whether you're a crafter or you trying to start a business or for personal use, just go ahead and subscribe. I already got a playlist for you ready to watch. Subscribe to my channel, like, comment, question, either one. Any questions, I will try to answer all of them um, in a timely manner and to my best of the ability. And if I don't know, I'm going to tell you I don't know and point you in the right direction and also research myself because it could help me later on down the road. But in this video, we're going to be going over four, again, four free photo editing software, absolutely free. I'm not talking about the paid services stuff. I'm just talking about free for graphic designs, which we need for sublimation. And it doesn't matter if it's just fonts you can actually manipulate the fonts upload your fonts put in any photos all that good stuff actually get your transparent backgrounds cut out the photos i'm not going to do a tutorial on graphic designing but i'm going to show you where to go please check them out absolutely free uh one of them definitely been in the top five for quite some years now and the other ones is pretty solid as well I believe they'd be in the top 10 when I'll be looking across. So I'm gonna switch up the camera and meet you on the computer. So stay tuned and all the links computer. will be in the description. First up that is free is canva.com. And you'll go here and you can actually, the website um, on your browser. I'm using Google Chrome. You can save it to your favorites or bookmark it to your favorites. This right here is pretty cool. This is at the home. You got templates, you got features that you can do. And also learning graphic designs basics. That's pretty cool. Um, to your right, you got account settings and then you can still go ahead and create a design. So if you want to be doing a free version to the top right where my mouse is, create a design that you will click. And they have pretty much anything you can create, start creating designs on. They even got logos. And next to them will tell you the size, how big your canvas is going to be. You even got t-shirts. So let's click on t-shirts and see what it do. So this will be your canvas, this white box right here. Zoom in, see your work. Pretty simple, all your tools will be on the left-hand side. Once you got your canvas up, you got all your elements. You can search anything you want. If you wanna search flames, for example, you just type in flames and it'll give up you a whole bunch of elements that you can pick from. And we're doing free. So you just want something that is free and you can actually double click it or you can drag. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can upload images. You got your text box that you can slide over onto the canvas, type in anything you want. And there's a drop down box right here where I'm pointing at that you can have all these fonts available to you. And if they have the crown next to them and you're doing the free version, you won't be able to use. So you can always change the front fonts. You can use the free version. This is pretty easy, user-friendly type. You have a reset button or undo button right here. So that's in case you made a mistake, you can always undo the changes. But if you just created a, a simple design, just be aware that you're gonna pretty much download this whole canvas right here. The canvas is the white, the white outer box. And right here where it says print shirts on the top right, 
this is where you'll download it the good thing is most of it will automatically be set at png which is the high quality value uh image and you won't get the transparent background you have to be a pay subscriber or a pay member but you can still download any images you want and take it to the next photo editing software to remove this white canvas background and just have the text and the flames if you want to but this is just kind of canva very popular very easy to use and a lot of people use it and you can still create some awesome designs some dope colorful designs i have used this plenty of times uh, among other things you can make your own logos going back home this is like customized for a lot of social media and if you just want to learn graphic design basics they got tutorials and all that good stuff so this is canva.com i'll leave the link down in the below in the description so next up we're going to be talking about photo p uh it's pretty similar setup i'm going to show you the interface can actually work on the web browser but this is photopeak.com backslash learn backslash and here it tells you the introduction uh, talks about the workspace you can open and save the navigation the size um, this is pretty awesome stuff this is the topics all on the left hand side you have the zoom tool you have mask you have layers um, you got layer editing, free transform and adjust all kinds of filters. Um, you can also make selections, like say and if you're trying to refine edges in your photos, that's pretty good. You got brush tools, which you can actually just color in certain colors of the, of the picture, change them. You got textiles, which you can also upload your fonts to, vector graphics editing shapes they got everything you need to learn about as well now the premium account does not work which is good like i said we're only talking about the free version they also have templates which is not bad you can do bold designs neon designs and these are actually some youtubers uh, that you see right here by cameron cambit and uh i've seen a few of his tutorials and he makes text designs if you just happen to go to photopeed.com you'll actually be coming to the place where you can actually do your work and this is all your tools on the left hand side right here and it says new project you can open from a computer you can drag any image you want um, you can also bookmark this to your favorites if you want to add a bookmark photo p editor uh photo editing pretty simple you go to file you go to new and you can set up your canvas they do have a few templates down here for instagram facebook all kinds of stuff youtube covers but if you're doing graphic design again i like to work with the inches so i can do 11 by 14 because pretty much I can fit a nice graphic design on there and the cool thing about this you don't have to sign up and you can actually start off with the transparent background and this is what the transparent background is so, and you have your save option right here but actually you're going to export it you got text um the typing tool so show you a little bit of the free form so you can pick any text you want you can actually load some fonts on here which is pretty cool and you'll draw your little box and you just stop start typing change the color or any color that you want and this is it doesn't matter how you put it where you prove it uh put it you can actually move it all around the canvas so if you go off the canvas you're not going to see it and to your right is the layers so just just remember you have to work with each layers um this is definitely a easier photo editing that you can learn 
And what I'm going to do to this text right here is free transform it. So what's cool about this too, like say you just want to manipulate the text, you can stretch it. You can add a layer mask to this te text. You can drag a picture over this if you want to, and then you can clip mask it and have your image inside the text. So there's a way that you can get it to your desktop. Sorry, I done forgot how to do it, but if you just Google search, you can actually have this saved to your desktop on your computer. That way you won't have to worry about the web browser information on the top. And pretty much you will have a lot more more space to work with so that way you can use the full extent of your screen absolutely free you don't have to sign up that's what i like about it photop.com next up is inkscape um you'll go to inkscape.org this is a vector design photo uh photo editing software absolutely free you don't have to log in you don't have to register basically when you come to this site it tells you about it um what i'll usually do is go straight to download and you can click download the current version and like i said it works for all all systems that is available and then whichever system that you're using you just go ahead and click on it download it and you get actually get a interface um save to your desktop with that you can open up at any time you got your text box you got all your tools on the left and you can make some awesome logos i use this for logos so this is one of the, this is actually my first business and this is the logo that i created for the business as you can see real closely the lines are solid it's not pixelated this is what vector design works and looks so you're able to bend these shapes um again this is not a tutorial but i'm just showing you what you can do with this kind of free graphic design software again this is inkscape you got 3d shapes that you can manipulate so it's, it's pretty cool you got your colors all at the bottom so you can change them any any colors that you want this is definitely a lot more learning to this right here you can check out inkscape.org absolutely free and i'll leave the link down below and last the last one is called gimp this is pretty much it's been top five top in the top three as far as free photo editing software you don't have to sign up you don't have to donate they do have a donation thing but this is absolutely free um the community helps build this and and give recommendations to this if you go to gimp.org it talks about the free and open source image editor this is the closest thing you you can get as far as top quality tools close to adobe photoshop the paid version um we got the downloads and the downloads they got it for linux OS, which is Mac, Microsoft Windows, and Docs. Not really sure about those, but as you can see, they got it for all the languages out there. And tutorials down here. You can check out tutorials, but you can also go to YouTube. There's plenty of people out there that actually use GIMP. And for a free version, this is pretty awesome got the same setup you got all your top part layers colors on the top now you once you download it your tools won't be colored they'll be grayed out but all your tools are to the left the hardness of the brushes right here so you got brushes you got pen you got paint you can also crop and you can also create your canvas any way you want to I have made many designs off of this. Drag and drop your documents onto here. And if you're using GIMP, this is a recommendation. Make sure you close down anything that's behind it. 
So this is a photo of me. I went ahead and did some graphic designing. And I'm, again, this is not a tutorial. As far as graphic designing, pretty much I cartoon myself. I cut out the whole image that's around me. You can do a lot of cool things with this. Even if you just want the image, you can do this image right here. And the cool thing about it, when you export this, um, you can always pick the type. And that's it, GIMP. So just check out the tutorials out there if you decided to take it to the next step on um, graphic designing, but this is absolutely free. You don't have to sign up. And that's it for the video. Until next time, peace.